أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته and very good evening to my faculty supervisor Madam Nur Izati binti Mama Anwar my name is Muhammad Shaki Zufairi bin Lias metric number A one four A zero four six eight today I would like to present about my industrial training at University Science Islam Malaysia Yusin. Firstly, I would like to thank to my company supervisor, Madam Hanan binti Abdullah, and also uh, other bursary department staff, which are very nice to me. Okay, firstly, I want to explain about USIM company background. Okay, University Science Islam Malaysia USIM is an emerging Islamic university which is fully owned and funded by the Malaysian government. USIM embraces an approach that unite science, nakli knowledge, and also uh, rational science, akli knowledge, both akli and nakli knowledge. USIM is one of the university that integrate religious science together with the social and physical science. Now, I will brief uh, specifically about uh, bursary department of USIM. Bursary department of USIM is known as bursary department of uh, Islamic University Malaysian College Queen that was established in line with the establishment of Queen at the end of 1999. Bursary Department of Queen is firstly operated at Institute Professional Baitumail IPB that took one and a half years before moving to level 14 Tower A Perseran MPAJ Pandan Indah which was the second USIM campus uh, at the end of 2001. Then, in April 2007, the bursary department had moved to Queen Permanent Campus in Nilai, Negeri Sembilan, and placed on the level 1 to 4 right wing of Chancellery Building right now. Okay, now, we move to uh, USIM bursary department motto, philosophy, vision, and also its mission. The bursary department motto is well-managed, transparent, and accurate. Uh, their philosophy is the balance and the blend of manageable, transparent, and accurate financial management, and also appreciation of Islamic values are the key trusts uh, for the financial management with integrity and quality. Their vision is to emphasizing excellence in financial management uh, while their mission is to be determined to become a department in financial management to support the achievement of the goal of the university. Uh, then they also have their objective for the bursary department and they have uh, about six six uh, bursary department objective and the first one is uh, they want to make sure the payment is made to customer within 14 days subject to complete receipt uh, document the second one is they want to make sure the payday payment made is before or on the 25th day of every month. All official order are issued within 7 working days or 1 week after receiving the order request along with a complete supporting document. Okay. And the fourth objective is uh, they want to ensure ensuring using spending performance must exceed 18% of allocated allocation. The other objective is uh, to ensure that 100% of university's official receipt are issued immediately upon receipt of the public money at the bursary counter. <coughs> and their last uh, bursary department objective is they want to achieve at least 60% of customer satisfaction. <coughs> okay. Right now, we are moved to job description uh, 
uh, in bursary department what I have done uh, during my uh, industrial training uh, at bursary department is generally helping staff in filing printing and prepare payroll reports uh, for example I had checked payroll change report laporan perubahan gaji LPG in system and told staff if there is any dissimilarities uh, between data in the system and the printed one moreover uh, I had helped them in updates data of periodic tax uh, deduction for using staff and then uh, lastly I have learned how to prepare uh, invoice of payroll adjustment they also teach me how to make or uh, how to open a journal or ledger using the using financial system okay, right now right now uh, we move to challenges uh, there are four problem that I face during uh, during my job at the using bursary department the first one is the financial system slow down or hang sometime and this is the biggest problem uh, at the bursary department because when the system slow down uh, we cannot do anything or or we call we cannot do any job because the system is hang. Okay, the second one is data in system is not tally with the printed report or printed voucher. So when the data in system is not tally with the printed one, uh, this will cause confusion uh, between the staff and customer. So we don't know which data is true because. Uh, it wasn't tally, it wasn't similar. Okay. That is the second problem or second challenges. The third challenges is student or staff gave us wrong information about them. Okay. And the last challenges is uh, several staff put wrong account code during key in the data in the system. Okay. Right now we move to uh, contribution to company along my industrial training at UC University department uh, what I had contributed to them is uh, is staff job or works in filing the second one is save their times save their times in in terms to prepare invoice and reports <coughs> and lastly helps them in searching file and prepare hundreds of copies of it uh, for audit firm reference or other firm or customer reference next is added value in term of knowledge honestly there are many things that I learned in the bursary department of USIM and one of the example is I learned how to prepare an invoice and payroll report secondly is uh, I could understand various allowance and deduction made for pay slip report and the lastly is I am exposed to the knowledge of income tax and it tax relief <clears throat> the tax department of Malaysia uh, has imposed a new rule of income tax and there are so many tax relief that are given to us and especially for those who are income uh, 4,000 uh, ringgit Malaysia and above okay. and lastly I will brief about uh, suggestion this was based on my opinion uh, and I have four suggestion that uh, Bursary Department uh, should make the first one is make two or more server for using financial system so problem of slow down system could be avoided the second one is create an editable website 
for student and staff so they could update their latest information which used by payroll, payroll department and also other department in USIM. The third uh, opinion or suggestion is held a seminar of account coding for staff test. Thus, it can reduce key in error in terms of, term of wrong code. Okay, lastly, is build up a friendly user system for those who want to apply any claim. Because nowadays, there are not many companies or organizational which build a claim system. Usually, they will give a printed form uh, to fill in. So, when we build up a claim system, this will decrease the time to get uh, the claim data and also decrease the label energy use and that was uh, what I get uh, from the, my industrial training and thank you